Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. It's a pretty exciting time. We've got a lot of new films coming out and a lot of older films being brought back. And the latest film from Ilford is Ilford Ortho Plus. This is a brand new black and white film from Ilford, as you would expect from them. And I'm going to go ahead and read the description directly from their website, just because I feel like they would be able to explain this a lot better than I would. Ilford Ortho Plus is an orthochromatic black and white film. It's designed as a high resolution copy film for negatives. It offers superb photographic potential thanks to its fine grain and sharpness. See, they're doing a way better job than I ever would. Ideally suited for landscape photography, the blue and green sensitivity of this emulsion enables the film to be handled in deep red safe light conditions, making processing and inspection even easier. Its lack of red sensitivity also means that reds and oranges in your frame are rendered darker with stronger contrast than standard panchromatic films. All other Ilford and Kentmere films are panchromatic. So your HP5, your Delta, your FP4, all of that stuff is all panchromatic, whereas Ortho Plus is orthochromatic. That's why it's different than the rest. This is an 80 speed film, so it's definitely a slow speed film. I would consider this sort of a specialty film. I wouldn't really consider this like a general everyday kind of purpose film. Uh, for that, I always use HP5, but I wanted to make this video really from the perspective of treating this film as an everyday film. So I didn't want to go out and shoot specifically to kind of cater to this film. I wanted to just basically throw it in my camera and treat it like I would HP5 just to see how different it was. I've been using HP5 for all of my daily documenting for years now, so I've really gotten to understand that film. I know what to expect. I know how to expose it to get the look that I want, and I really just wanted to kind of use that as a frame of reference and see just how different this film really is. So I invited my buddy Matt Seal to come down from Columbus. Uh, Ilford was kind enough to send me five rolls of this right before it came out, so big thanks to Ilford for letting this happen. Uh, but I gave one of the rolls to my buddy Matt Seal. I just wanted to walk around Chillicothe and just treat this as an everyday kind of film. That way you could see how it really handled normal, everyday kind of situations. So Matt shot his entire roll with his Nikon F2 and an 85mm F1.4 AIS lens, and I shot everything with my M6 and a 35mm millimeter f2.5 sumer it and we uh, shot both of these rolls at 80 we didn't push or pull or anything like that we just wanted to have just a really simple baseline to work from it was a pretty cold and gloomy day we didn't really have ideal conditions to shoot this film but again i just wanted to treat it like any other film so this is what we had to work with i should also mention that this film is available in 120 and 4x5 as well but we have 35 millimeter to work with so that's what all of the results are going to be from today First impressions of the film, uh, maybe it's not a great thing that this is the very first thing I noticed, but the grain is different. Uh, it's kind of strange for me. Uh, maybe it's just because I'm so used to HP5 and even the Delta films, but it's very fine, but maybe a little bit fuzzy. It, it doesn't have such a sharp edge to it. I don't know really the best way to describe this. Maybe you have a better way and a more uh, technically sound way to describe this. If so, let me know in the comments, but it's definitely different from what I'm used to, and that was kind of the first thing that really jumped out at me, and it was uh, not really my favorite thing about the film. That said, the tonality and the contrast of the film, I really liked the look of that. Um, obviously, we didn't shoot it in really high contrast situations, given the light that we were working in, but situations where there was snow and really dark shadows in the same scene, it handled it pretty well.
shot. Now with the reds and oranges being rendered a little bit darker, those are colors you often see in different skin tones. So I was kind of curious how this would look in portraits. I had read other people say, don't even bother shooting this for portraits because it's not gonna be flattering. I honestly really like the way this looked and the way it rendered the skin tones. Uh, obviously, I only shot a couple portraits of Matt, and he shot a couple of me as well, but I do really like the way this looked. Again, the grain, you know, that wasn't something I'm really crazy about, but for portraits, I wouldn't necessarily just write this off and say it's only good for landscapes, because I was pretty happy with how those looked. Now, I finished my role in Hawking Hills. Molly and I went there for my birthday for a couple of days, and I just basically finished off the role as we were about to start hiking. I wouldn't have been able to shoot this entire roll then because I was shooting with my M6, no tripod, and it was pretty dark. So uh, shooting with an 80 speed film, it wasn't great, but I do like the results a lot and it made me want to kind of plan ahead. Again, treating this as sort of a specialty film, specifically planning a day where I take this film out and bring a tripod and go on a hike. I really want to plan for that, so maybe for that I'll do a follow-up video with the other roles that I have, but the results that I did get, even though it was just a couple quick, basic Basically finish off the roll shots. Uh, it looked good. The, the greens and everything that were in the scene, it rendered those really nicely, so I'm excited to shoot more of that. Now Matt's Nikon F2 actually had a little bit of a shutter issue, so some of the frames on his roll were severely underexposed because there was some kind of shutter issue that was happening, so a couple of those were so underexposed that we really kind of had to do as much work as we can to salvage them in post, and this was basically an unintentional latitude test because something that was that far underexposed, a couple of them were actually salvageable. You could still kind of see that they were underexposed and other frames weren't as forgiving, but still uh, I was surprised that at least a couple of these we were able to actually make something with. Before we wrap up, I want to take a minute to pay some bills and thank our sponsor today, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is the best all-in-one platform for you to build your online presence. You can show off your work, sell your prints, or any other merch throughout your online store, and keep tabs on everything with the analytics on the back end. As photographers, our portfolios are always growing and improving, so updating your portfolio should be a simple process, and with Squarespace, it's incredibly easy to update or rearrange your portfolio at any time. Having your own online store built into your site makes it really convenient to update your inventory, add or remove certain items, run sales, anything you might want to do when running your own store. You have so many templates to choose from when designing your website, and they all look great and are easy to customize, but if you ever do need any help at all, Squarespace has 24-7 award-winning customer service. If you'd like to try Squarespace out, you can do so entirely free at squarespace.com, but when you're ready to get signed up, go to squarespace.com slash mattday and you'll get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All in all, is this going to replace my HP5 as a daily film? Definitely not. Um, that There's just no need for it, really. HP5 is perfect for what I use it for, and I really enjoy the look, so I'm not even looking for a replacement. But again, with this being a uh, orthochromatic film, an 80-speed film, it is sort of a specialty novelty kind of film. And it's also not the cheapest film. It's pretty pricey as well. So that's another thing you have to keep in mind in terms of how much you're shooting it and how you're shooting it and what you're actually going to use it for. So for me, I'm still going to be shooting HP5 more than anything, but uh, again, it's a new film. It's an exciting thing to have, you know, whether it's something you shoot regularly or just every so often. Uh, I am excited to shoot more of this film, again, in more ideal situations. So uh, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. If you would like to see a follow-up video where I'm taking it out for a hike and shooting it for a little bit more specific uses, then definitely let me know and I'll make that happen. So that's my first look of Ilford's Ortho Plus. If you guys have any questions or comments about this at all, please 
please leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We have new videos every Monday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but that's it for today. So thank you guys for everything. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.